Welcome back. Welcome back. Clap yourselves as well. Clap yourselves. Yes. So kidding, so so kidding. So kidding. Yo, what is going on? Welcome back to Bros Got Game. It is your boy Sonny, and we are back with some more Leicester career mode. First of all, I will be taking questions straight after you follow me on my Snapchat, which is Bros Got Game. Follow me on my Insta at Bros Got Game and follow me on my Twitter as well at Bros Got Game. I'll leave them all over the screen somewhere for you. Make sure you follow me and add me on all my Snapchat, Twitter, etc. Also, follow me on Twitch. Link in the description down below for where we. We could be moving the live streams too. Go ahead and follow me on Twitch, boys. That would be appreciated. But other than that, everything is looking good in the hood. Yes, we left our food a few offers and we could be looking into those. First of all, I do want to take questions. Right at the bar, I see you jumping around. Look like you're jumping for joy. You look like a salmon. Go ahead, ask your first question, mate. Go ahead. Jack from fuckerrightinthepussy.com. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Do you believe you will find another player like Kante at the club? Well, to be honest, Sam Tate actually said to me, Sam Tate, you know who you are. He said Sidi or Sedi is the next guy from Nice to be the replacement for Kante. Plus, I'm going after Saul. A few player, people picked out the players because of yellow. There was also shouts for other sentiments as well. We could be looking for the next Kante and I think I can find it. Yes, I do. You right at the front, go ahead. Yeah. Icebergs from Paul Bears on us. Did Ranieri deserve to be sacked? Uh, Deserved to be sacked? Probably not the right question. Deserved. Um, did he need to be sacked? I think he needed to be sacked. However, I did feel like he probably deserved to have the rest of the season. Like, two months? You don't want a new manager with two months to go, especially when you're fighting relegation. So, yeah, I would have said probably give him to the end of the season. See what he could do in the Champions League as well. His dream did die. He did say that. A bit sad. Touched my heart when he said his dream died with that little sacking. But, yeah, like I said, didn't deserve it. Probably needed it, though. Yes, right at the back on the left-hand side. Carry on. Go for it, mate. My name is Afafu Wu Apabwebwe Jakawewe Hava Nijbi. Will you ever sign any African player? No? You racist. Ah, huh? you racist. Get off me. You racist. Huh? What, what, racist. what do you mean? You I'm not racist. racist. Everybody can vouch me for me. Oh, I'm not security racist. take him out. He's obviously trolling. Get this guy out of here, Mr. Afafu or whatever your name is. Move. Move. Get along, mate. Go along. Yes, next question. And I'll take my last question. Go ahead, you're in the middle of the freaking pack. Go ahead, mate. Go ahead, take your question. Freak the wee town. So, Sonny, who are you looking to buy this season, then? What players am I looking to buy? That's a very good question. As you guys probably remember, Jamie Vardy, yeah, 30 million in for him, could be happening in this very episode. If that happens, we could be looking at a little bit bigger when we were talking about players, all right? We could be looking at bigger players. Plus, I did you guys leave you guys kind of on the cliffhanger that I will be going after another left back, and he's English. He had blonde hair. The guy is the guy that you're about to see, but I'll catch you over there, all right? I'll catch you over there. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Add me on Insta. Add me on um, Facebook. Snapchat. I'll catch you guys over there, yo. And let's move on. Let's get it, boys. Come on. Let's go. Yo, what is going on? Welcome back to Bullsgut Gaming. This is boy Sunny, and we are back. By the way, I say, yo, what is going on? Welcome back to Bros Got Gaming. It's your boy Sunny, and we are back. To the Leicester City Career Mode, Episode 3. You guys smashed out. I mean, demolished. 250 likes to make this episode happen. I'm gonna go bigger. We're gonna go bigger. We're gonna go broader. We're gonna go ahead and reach the sky, boys. 300 likes, and I will smash out another episode of the Leicester City Career Mode tomorrow. Go ahead and smash that like button if you haven't already, and get yourself a free orgasm. Anyway, moving straight into the bit that you guys know about Jamie freaking Vardy. 14 million from Dortmund. A lot of you said no, a lot of you said don't sell him, and a lot of you said yes. Yes, counter 30 million and if we can get 30 million for him we can look at a big striker to bring in boys and I've got a lot in this very brain how big is that brain probably about this big but it doesn't matter we're probably gonna sell Jamie Vardy, Jamie Vardy and bring in a brand spanking new player also I left you guys on a little bit of a cliffhanger with the player that we will be going after all right one player that we may be going after 
is that left back position and I did say to you guys he's got blonde hair alright he doesn't begin with D I'm just I'm just making you guys think he begins with D alright I'm psyching you right now I'm in your head I'm in your bloody head because I'll tell you who it bloody is mate it's Luke Shaw from Manchester United and you're probably like Luke Shaw mate that is unrealistic no it's not because if you think about it Manchester United have had him in the team and he's out of favour at Manchester United at the moment and I believe personally a lot of clubs could come for him next summer and I think Leicester City would be in with a chance to buy the squad rotation player from Manchester United. I'm going to go straight in there with around 12 million. All right, I believe it's worth about 15 million. If we go in with 12 million, we're not overpaying. We could always up the bid. 12 million for Luke Shaw, it could happen. Also, a few other players that you guys said, uh, gaming with Marblox or Marblox, Mayblox, I'm not sure how you say your name, said, when you assist with Danny, drink water, you should drink water. That got plus 25 votes. I drink water anyway, mate. But what we could do is add something like pour water on your face, Sonny, every time you assist with drink water, something like that. You know what I mean? It's going to be boring if I just drink water. I'll just I'll drink water all day if I could. Water's nice. Tap water, meh. Bottled water, give me it all day long. Flavoured water, I will drink that non-stop. But yeah, let me know your suggestions when it comes to like drink water and stuff like that. But anyway, Nicolo Bakaida also said another player. He got plus 19 volts by the time of this recording. And he said, please buy Nastasic. He has a lot of potential and is a realistic transfer. So we could go after Nastasic as a centre-back. You guys know we put offers out for Kurt Zuma and Ruben Smedu. But Nastasic apparently has good potential. Could be a realistic transfer. You're right. So we're going to approach Schalke to buy Leicester City for how much is he worth boys how much is he worth i'm gonna go in there with eight no seven million seven million pounds i don't want to overpay for him we'll start with seven we could always up it and another comment that i want to take a little bit from obviously he said luke shaw as well the comment was from jazzy bashir he said by masanda butlin bellerin and luke shaw he got plus 17 volts from that so i know a lot of you guys are up for that however i don't think butlin would be a realistic transfer if we move down to the championship maybe another championship is our goalkeeper who can probably move through the ranks to replace um, Kasper Schmeichel let me know in the comment section below for that one Luke Shaw we've also already got after Bellerin I don't believe we'll move down to the championship as well however Musanda doesn't get the first team football at Chelsea has been farmed out by a lot of the Chelsea managers that have taken charge of Chelsea and I believe it could be a great signing for that left wing position so we are going to go after Charlie Musanda and put in an offer for the Chelsea man from Belgium, all right? And I know that guy in the interview said I don't sign Africans. Let me know some Africans, boys. I don't want to look racist, all right? All right, let's put in, um, uh, let's go eight million pounds. No, seven million, no, eight. No, 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 let's up it a little bit, all right? Let's up it a little bit. We'll go with the 12.5. How about that, Chelsea? 12.5 million for Charlie Masonda. Up to by four million, mate. 4.5 million, to be exact. Chelsea fan. 560. He's come up with the ultimate recipe for Kante, boys. He says sell Mendy, which we obviously can't affect from here. We have to wait for offers to come in and bring in Kimmich. That's another sentiment that you guys were literally spamming in the comment section below. You guys want Joshua Kimmich at the club. He's from Bayern Munich. I don't see it as a realistic transfer, but because he's young, he could probably join the squad. So I'm going to go in there straight away with 12 million. I know I'll probably get him for around 15. I'm going to go in with 12 million and see if we can sign this guy for cheap. 12 million pounds for Joshua Kimmich could be the next can take. And one player that I want to add in there myself, he was brought up in the comment section a couple of times, I believe, is Enaki Williams. I believe he could be the guy that we need on the right wing, especially if we sell Mahrez as well. He's got the pace, he's got the strength, he's got what we need in a right wing player, and I think we might be able to bag him cheap. I'm going to go straight in there with 8 million quid. Not sure how much he's worth. We'll probably go up to around the 15 million mark, but Enaki Williams could be joining us here at Leicester City. And now for one of probably the biggest games of our pre-season tournament. We've got to take on Premier League players with Watford City, Watford City, Watford FC and I think we could probably do that. Yes, I'm going to change up my squad a little bit. We're going to bring in Kapushka, give him the chance in the team. I'm also going to give other players a chance in the team. Probably not this Musquay guy. We'll probably bring him up with the squad. You never know. We'll give you lower a chance in the team as well. Drop Maris to bring in Musa on the right wing. Give Ndidi a chance as well. Drop Mendy to give Chowdhury a chance. I'm giving the young players a chance, boys. I'm letting them have a chance to see what they can do in the squad. You never know until you play these players, right? So that's 
exactly what I'm doing. I'm playing the players and then we'll see if they can play well in the team. That is the way I'm going to leave the team like that and I'm also going to change up the bench and then bam! That is how the team looks boys. So with the bench looking like that and the team looking like that, hopefully we can go out there and win this game. Yes, it's the second team slash reserve team you could say. We've got a few first team players in there as well but we do want to drop a lot of players and I feel like the way to expose players to the transfer list is to play them. So let's go out there, get a win. Come on boys, let's go get it, let's start. Keep going, Chowdhury will pick it up and give the ball back. Thanks for that, Chowdhury. Good tackle indeedy though. Yolowa, look to the left hand side, Kapushka. Loads of space, Kapushka goes across. Go, oh, what the f was that? Come on man, chill well. Chowdhury, little turn from King, come on King. There you go, it's King! That's a shot and it goes wide. Need to be hitting the target from there, King. Ta -da. Oh, go backwards and whatever. Chowdhury will take that one anyway. Kapushka into the middle. King, Yalawa. Yalawa's still going. He's got support from Musa going forward. It's Ahmed Musa. How have I not put that one in? I should have been able to roll that one straight past the keeper, boys. Musa, run for me. Oh, loads of space for Musa. You don't want the pace out there like this, boys. Musa whips one in. Yalowa misses the ball completely. Chill well. Back into the middle. Nobody's going to get there again. Comes out only as far as this guy. Don't know how to pronounce his... Penalty! Come on, Chowdhury. He's won as a freaking penalty, boys. It's going to be King who steps up for it. Is that a red card as well? Yes, it is. He's came in late. He's came in on the side of the foot of Chowdhury and Brandon Mason is leaving the bloody pitch mate. Come on son, come on King, do your team proud boy. Do your team proud, it's King. Going to the right, there you go, a little bit to the center and the right and King puts it into the back of the net boys, come on. Leicester City lead a Premier League side, don't forget we were relegated to the championship. Now we're in the pre we're playing a Premier League side and we're winning one 0 Yes, it's a penalty, but it was a deserved penalty. One 0 Come on! Here goes Ndidi having a good game. What a ball that would have been. Close him down. Close him near. Kapoo poo. It's a dive, man. What? Did you see that? He freaking dived over the top. Is it gonna reach him? Come on, Okazaki. Beautiful, beautiful. Masakwe or whatever. Getting a chance in the team. Musa plays it back into him. The youngsters away for number two. Big save from the one for goalkeeper. Yo, he saved them from going two or three nil down. This goalkeeper. Laid off again. Here goes Ahmed Musa. Tr a cross goal. It's gone bloody wide. Come on. Come on, we've got a chance to make it two here. Just before the full-time whistle. Musa. James. And we've lost the ball to put there. Any minute now, ref. Blow that whistle. There we go. Full time. 1 0. Watford just couldn't handle, handle a bit of Leicester City, mate. They went down to 10 men as well. We probably should have capitalised on that chance and got quite a few goals, but we didn't. We took a 1 0 victory. It's still another three points on the table. Two shots, two on target to our seven and our four on target. Man of the match goes two. Ndidi, very good performance from him. Him and, and Men, and Me, uh, him and Mendy would make a great partnership. I told you, I'm not going on attributes, I'm going on performances, and this lad is great. Unacceptable, they won 9 million for Andre Gray. Are they having a laugh? We'll up it a little bit, boys. We'll go up to 7.8, and then try and bring it up slowly but surely. But I'm not going straight up to 9 million, Burnley. I'm not going to fall into that trap. They want 13 million for Victor Moses. Chelsea probably not going to go up there as well. We will move up to 8 million, though, and see what they come back with. I might go after Michel Antonio instead of Victor Moses for that right back position. What would you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section down below. Herving Lozano, they also say 6 million is not enough. I'm going to go up quite a bit here. Yeah. I'm going to go up to 10 million, 4 million up from the original 6 million bid. Also, if we keep going through the emails, Ajax have now accepted the 7 million bid for Casper Dolberg. I might be overpaying, boys. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think I'm overpaying. I'm going to put the offer out there and then you guys can make the decision down below. Should we bring him to the club or not? Let me know below. He's got the potential. He could be a great player of the future here at Leicester City. And Chelsea yet again turned down another bid for Kurt Zuma. They want 21 million, boys. 21 million. We're going there with 15 million. See what happens. That'll be the last bid for now. But won't be the last bit of transfer business as Ruben Smeardu is currently in talks with Paris Saint Germain for a 12.5 million pound move. That is not gonna happen. Please don't let that happen, man. Do not let that, ha that happen. How much did we send out for Ruben Smedu? We sent out 12 million. 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna adjust it a little bit, boys. We're gonna adjust it a little bit. We got 12.5, and we'll sweeten the deal. All right, we'll sweeten the deal. Put a tenner in there, mate. That is what works. Trust me, it works. Put a tenner in there. There you go, Sporting. What are you saying? What are you saying? Ruben Spear, dude, not a bad player, actually. 79 overall. That scout report has actually worked wonders for me. Thanks for that. Appreciate the little scout report from my man, Dave Campbell. Thanks, Dave. International management, we don't want to know about that. And Naki Williams, I think the bid is too low. We can go ahead and increase the bid then. Tell me any offer. We're going there. We're probably around the 12 million mark. I think that's probably what it's worth. If it's worth more, then I'm probably not bidding enough, to be honest. But we'll put 12 million there for now, and then we'll put another bit for Joshua Kimmich, because you guys want Joshua Kimmich a lot. I'll go in with, uh, we're going with a 15 mil. 16, yeah, we're going with a 15 mil. To start off with, like I said, we'll slowly move up when it comes to bids. We won't just jump into the high 20s as soon as we go after a player like Kimmich. Also, Luke Shaw, Neil, we'll still have that deal to go through. Luke Shaw, we put in 12 million, we'll now up that bid a little bit to 15 million. And see what Manchester says, Manchester, Manchester United say to that deal. Another deal that they rejected was the Antonio Valencia deal. Uh, 7 million we'll put in for him. I think he's probably going to be worth around the 10 million mark. So we'll put in 10 million. Well, we probably won't take him, but we'll put the 10 million in there anyway. You guys can let me know if you believe there's another right back we can go after. Um, a realistic right back, please. Not someone who's probably never going to be necessary in his whole life. And 22.5 is what they want for someone. That's way too much, y'all. 15 million for the squad rotation player. Squad rotation. We're giving you 15 million. Come on, man. They've accepted the 10 million for Kieran Gibbs. And they've accepted the 13 million for Divacorigi as well. We've got two big players there, boys. Massive players. I'm going to put the contracts out there. And like I said before, you guys need to let me know in the comment section below. Do I bring these players in? Or do I bring in other players that can play in that position? He's probably a better player in that position, to be honest. So let me know in the comment section down below. The offers are out there. We're waiting. And we've got a few final scout reports in as well. Just what we want. Let's check. Kieran Gibbs. Looking good on a 79 overall. Divock Rigi, 79 overall as well. 12.5 value. We're actually getting very good, but we're getting a good bargain at 13 million there. Kieran gives that 10 million actually a good price as well. If we can bag Zuma for around 15 million, we're bloody loving it, boys. Bloody loving it. Anyway, transfer offer accepted from Chelsea. They finally accepted an offer, and it's the 12.5. For Charlie Musonda. What a deal that could be as well. A lot of you wanted him to move to the club. 60000 a week will be his wages. He'll be on a five year contract. It'll be crucial to the club if he does move here. So we will be putting that kind of contract out there for him. And Nastasic, I believe, is worth a lot more than the 7 million that we offered them. Let's go in there with 9 million and a couple of million. You never know. Could work, might not work, but we could always add to that little transfer bid. All right, we can always add to the transfer bid, boys. Accepted, unacceptable, and accepted. All right, Andre Gray could be the next striker here at Leicester City. That is not a bad deal, boys. Not a bad deal. But the real news is if Vardy is leaving for £30 million to the one, the only, Borussia Dortmund. Is he leaving, boys? 7.8 for Andre Gray. I might feel like I've just about overpaid there. Uh, but we'll put the offers in anyway. We'll put the offers in anyway. I've got 12 million for Herving Lozano. He's worth 9 million. They want 16.5. We'll go through the middle. 12 million pounds. Contract offer accepted for Dolberg. We've put in 7 million pounds. Let me know in the comments, boys. Do you think that's a great signing right there? Dortmund come back and they say 17.5. 17.5. I thought we could get around the 30 million mark. They're saying no to me, boys. They're saying no. I might take the 25 or take 17.5. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do. We're going to leave it there so you guys can let me know about the Dolberg deal and the Vardy deal. Let me know in the comment section down below. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash the like button down below for that free orgasm. Follow me on Snapchat at Bros Got Game. Follow me on Insta at Bros Got Game. And follow me on Twitter at Bros Got Game. I'll catch you guys in the next one. It has been me. You guys have been great. And I'll see you in a bit. Peace. Don't forget. 250 or 300 likes. What did I say? Don't forget. Don't forget.